crafty friends. All right, there we go, find the chair. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to Two O'Clock Tuesday and your yoga for crafters. Um, what, what segment, section, uh, place to be, uh, once a day at least, um, and, but most especially on Tuesday. Oh, so I am in the crafty corner here. Uh, I'm prepping for tomorrow's uh, watercolor class which I still have one spot left because I, I was hoping maybe one extra person. We have seven. I was hoping for an even number. So if you have a last minute change of plans or you want to come learn to watercolor and get your own watercolor pencils and your own aqua painter, uh, let me know. Um, and I'm prepping for the Valentine's Buffet, which is on Sunday. So same thing. This is your last minute. If you want to join us, uh, you better text me or call me and let me know and I will uh, prep your cards. Okay, but I definitely need a break. Um, and so today I thought we would do seated chair stretches for the legs. Okay, but before we do that, we still wanna take one moment to sit up tall together and roll our shoulders out. So, sit on your chair or your stool, have the feet underneath your knees, roll your shoulders three times, bring them up and down and back. Good, and repeat. And one more time and let them settle. So there we go. Okay, now we're gonna do hamstrings first, and then we're gonna do hips, and we're even gonna do quads. And if we give them all about 30 seconds or so each, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll do more than seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, it should be less than 10 minutes, I'm hoping. But you know what you could do, once you know how to do these, is you could do just the hamstrings, or just the hips, or just the quads. So slide towards the end of your chair, Slide one leg out in front of you and flex your foot. Okay, and this leg should go as straight as it can. Now you might need to bend your knee a little and that is okay. Your other leg is gonna be your support leg and you're gonna move it in or out as needed. All right, remember those shoulders, roll them down and back. So the spine stays long, it stays neutral. We don't wanna round in our low back or our upper back, right? Because we wanna stay safe and healthy. So we're gonna hinge forward and definitely put your hand on your leg. Hinge forward, ooh, I found it. And now I can do elbow down, and that feels really comfortable for me. Some of us are gonna be up here with two hands on the thigh, and that is totally fine. And some people are gonna be way down and you know, ooh, I'm not, ooh, I'm not reaching for my toe today, but maybe they're reaching for their toe. The key is we wanna feel stretch to the back of the thigh, okay? And so we, then the other key is you have to stay, okay? You don't wanna get here breathe one breath and come back out. It's really the most beneficial, stretching is the most effective, if at least 30 seconds. Preferably a minute, and you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to tell you, but as we age, we actually need to stay here longer. All right, so now, before we come out, we're gonna recheck on this. Is the spine long? Yeah, see, I started to round into my upper back because it was just more comfortable, right? So spine long, tuck the chin, uh, tailbone is pressing back, Leg is straight. I've got a nice deep hip hinge. I'm breathing here. All right, let's slide it out. Take your time. Come on up. Slide that leg in. Ooh, I can already feel that that one feels so much more comfortable than that one because I've been standing up all day. Um, so this is great for standing up all day, and it's also great if you've been sitting all day. All right, other leg. Slide it out. Find that neutral spine. Uh, belly pulls in a little. Low back is safe and happy. Uh, upper back is safe and happy, especially if you have osteoporosis. You don't want to over exaggerate any roundings of the spine. All right, so with this long spine, bring your hand to the thigh, lean forward. And you know what is perfectly fine? You can lean forward just a little. Some of us have very tight hamstrings. We're gonna find this very quickly. Now, another cool thing about the effectiveness of stretching is that if we stay here a while and we breathe a while, sometimes we'll come a little deeper. Good. And you're gonna find the place that is right for right now. Shoulders down and back. Belly's in, heart is lifted, and we're leaning forward. If you are more flexible, definitely feel free. Maybe you wanna reach out your other hand and kinda of encourage that toe back towards you, but it's not necessary. You can put your hand lightly, lightly. Don't push on your shin, because that can hyperextend your knee. So, you know, stretching is one of those magic things. It's so good to do, but we wanna do it carefully and safely. So we're breathing here. Good, we're almost there. So now let's check on everything, right? Low back, belly, shoulders down and back, heart lifted. Take one more breath. Good, and then come back up and slide that leg in. Okay, so that is hamstrings. So if you ever need that in your day or in your travels, 
you have that with you. Next, we're going to do hips. So hips, I like to sit a little further, like not all the way back, but I'd say the middle of the chair for me. All right, pick a leg, any leg you want, and you're going to tap and open. So when I tap, I'm thinking about the hip rotating open, which is the motion that I need. And then if it feels right, you're going to tap and you're going to reach and put it up on your thigh. Now, what if this is too high? Um, yoga blocks work great. You could set them in front and put your foot on there. I'm trying to see if anything I just, you know how you randomly have bins? I have bins, but do you know what? All my bins are full. This one's not too full. Let's see. So, this is all my little bins for classes. So what if I took my basket and I put it there and I sat up tall? Oh, that works really well. Now this one's a square, so it's gonna be the same no matter which way I turn it. But if I needed a little less, maybe that is just too much, I could turn it over and put my foot here, right? So lots and lots of options. And you know, I'll have to pick this up later. <laughs> but I gotta put these away or the dog will chew them. A dog covered in dimensionals is no fun, just telling you. Uh, she once ate a snail. She didn't eat the plastic really, I don't know. She was covered with snail trails. Not a snail outside, sorry, uh, um, adhesive snail. So anyway, press that knee away, good. Shoulders down and back. And if a little more would be good for you, keeping that neutral spine, could you, ooh, I feel a big stretch. I can only lean forward just a tiny bit. But could you lean forward? Breathe here. All right, so we stayed on this side a while because I showed you all the options. We have to make sure and do the same on the other. Come on out, nice and easy. All right, so tap and open, tap and open. Keep doing that. That just kind of gets you thinking about where does the openness in the hip come from? It doesn't come from the knee. It comes from the hip. That's its job. And then when you're ready, catch it and place it up on the thigh. So remember those options. If you have a yoga block or you find a bin that is just the right size or a pile of books, you could put that foot down lower. But if this is, you know, comfortably uncomfortable or comfortable, you can stay here. You can, of course, massage the foot. So we'll talk about something else on the second side, right? You can massage the foot. Um, as long as you have that ankle all the way over, you can twirl the ankle. That feels really good. Um, in the winter, you know what, maybe we'll, I don't know if we'll do feet next week. In the winter, I'm always reminding people about our feet, right? Because they stay in socks and shoes a lot and we forget about them. But they are our foundation. They're what gets us where we need to go. So very important. All right, let's see if we can in intensify or deepen this a little. Shoulders down and back, heart is lifted, belly's in. Oh, lean forward. So this side for me is not quite as tight as the other side. And that is super common. You will have one side that feels this more than the other. Good, you're breathing here. Oh, nice and easy. This is so good. So you could sit and craft all day. Yes, you could. Or you could get up and, you know, work all day. We all need a release in the hips. All right, and come on back up. Ah, all right, we have one last one. So this is quad. So three important muscles in the legs. The only one we didn't stretch is the calf. We'll do that one next week. Um, so we'll do that. All right, so quad. You want your chair, you want to come to the edge of your chair and over. And make sure you have chair to hold on to or table to hold on to. Take one leg and slide it down. And if you can, let the top of the foot come to the floor. Now, here is the key. I'm finding the right spot for me. Okay, so here's the key. This might have a lot of sensation and this might have not very much. Either one is fine. If it's too much, you know, you probably wanna come out or not take the foot back as far. So for me, I'm gonna put my elbow on this side. There we go, so that way I can kind of sit upright. I don't feel a ton with this variation versus standing up and holding onto my ankle, but it's still stretching. This is still so very good. And I'm gonna show you a little mini one you can do while you're um, eating dinner or sitting at the table. All right, so we're breathing here. Double check on your posture, sit up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back, belly is in. Oh, so this um, little sequence for our lower body is so important. Right? All of the yoga and stretching is so important because we have this body and we ask it to do stuff and sometimes we don't take very good care of it, right? All right, slide that in. All right, slide over the other way. Get towards the edge. Take the knee towards the floor. And I like to put the top of the foot on the floor. Yeah, I think um, when you tuck the toe, it engages the thigh a little bit more. But if that is comfortable for you, do that. All right, so shoulders are down and back. And I'm definitely holding on. There's definitely a holding on. Um, let me show you. There is a way that, for a lot of us, this can be more comfortable. If I turn side on in my chair, 
right? Then I can hold on here and let the thigh hang down and the belly pull in. So that's some, another variation. Where's this? There we go. I got the table leg in front of my foot. So that's another way that you could go. And we're giving a gentle stretch to this thigh. And remember, you got to stay here about a minute. It's okay if you don't feel a lot. It's okay if this feels awkward. I'd say of the three, to me, this is the most awkward. I really do need to hold on to my chair. All right, breathe in here. All right, slide it in. Okay, and here's my last one. So this one's easy peasy. This is great for releasing uh, tension and tightness in the feet and the ankles. So when I'm sitting at the table, tuck your feet under and just relax there. This I learned from a, um, a great, I would call him like a movement therapist, uh, Lee Albert. Um, he's based out of Kripalu in Massachusetts. And he is a massage therapist and a yoga teacher, and a positional therapy, that's what he calls it. And he has come up with very gentle and easy stretches that we can do that can help us live pain free. He has a great book. You can go on Amazon. He has two, I think. Uh, yoga for, maybe it's live pain free. And it might be yoga for pain relief or yoga f something. But Lee Albert is his name. So you can look for that. He has great books. They have, it's very simple. They're not real big. They're not hard to read. Nice pictures and a bunch of really good stretches to do. And there we go, we're done. Slide your feet back up. Ooh, I am ready to cut the paper. So if you've watched this video, I am so very thankful. Give me a like, give me a love. Let me know that you were here. Um, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or IG, um, any of those are totally fine. Um, if you have questions, comments, requests, you wanna know about the book I mentioned, you wanna jump into these last minute classes for this week, totally let me know and I'll be super happy to see you. Um, so there you go. There's your yoga minutes. Uh, stay crafty and I will see you next time. Thank you. Ooh, it feels so good. My hips feel good.